In this tutorial series, I'm going to teach you how to use Django to build an e-commerce website. I hope you'll be able to use this to make money. Go to www.djangoproject.com. This class will introduce you to Django version 110. Django is a framework that is written in the Python programming language. Remember, programming is about rolling with the punches. If you get an error, Google it. The first couple links will normally solve the problem. Let's get started with Django 1.10. Open your terminal. To list out folders in your current directory, type ls. To change into the desktop directory, type cd desktop. cd stands for change directory, allowing the user to navigate the desktop. We want to install a virtual environment. A virtual environment allows us to keep our project dependencies separate. But before we can install our virtual environment, we first have to install pip. Pip is a tool for installing and managing Python packages. To install pip, type sudo easy underscore install pip. When you use the sudo command, you may need to type in your administrator password. We can now use pip to install our virtual environment. Type sudo pip install virtual env. To create a new virtual environment, run virtual env try 10. I've named this virtual environment try 10, although you can name your virtual environment anything you want. My virtual environment has been created. I can now see it on my desktop. So go back to your terminal, change into the try 10 directory by typing cd try 10. To activate the virtual environment on OS X, type source bin slash activate. On Windows, to activate the virtual environment, type period backslash scripts backslash activate. I know my virtual environment is running because I can see the directory name in brackets. Whenever you work on this project, make sure your virtual environment is active. Running the command pip freeze will allow me to see what packages are installed on my virtual environment. So type pip freeze. We currently don't have any project dependencies installed. To list out all the folders and files in this directory, type ls. Inside of the try10 directory, I have three folders, bin, include, and lib. I also have one file, pip selfcheck.json. Go to your desktop and click on the try10 folder. These are the same files that I just listed out in our terminal. So that's how we use terminal to navigate through our directories. So now I'm going to install Django. Run pip install Django equal equal 1.10. Django is now downloading and installing. You can use any text editor you like. However, for this project, I will be using Sublime Text. Open up your browser and go to www.sublimetext.com. I'll be downloading the free OSX version of the Sublime Text. In your terminal, type pip freeze. Django version 1.10 was installed. You can use another version of Django, but you may need to read that version's documentation to see any differences. Django 2 should be coming out around December 2017. When Django 2 is launched, I'll fully update this course. I'm going to create a new Django project. Type Django slash admin dot py. Start project, try 10. Again, I called this project try 10. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to navigate into the try10 directory. Type ls. You can see the new Django project called try10. To nav navigate into the Django project, type cd try10. To list out all of the folders and files in try10, type ls. The root of the project is the directory that contains manage.py. In the try10 directory, I see manage.py, therefore, I know I'm in the root of the project. In Django 1.10, to sync the database, type python manage.py migrate. I'll discuss migration more in detail later.
The first time you run migrate, a prompt will appear asking if a super user should be created. Type yes. Type in a username, email, and a password twice. If you aren't prompted to create a Django super user, type python manage.py create super user. Then fill out your details. From your desktop, open the virtual environment try 10 folder with Finder. Click on the Django application folder, try 10. Now the database is synced. A file called db.sqlite3 is automatically created in the root of the project. Open your terminal and navigate to the root of the project. To run the local development server, type python manage.py run server. Open up your web browser and go to the IP address shown in the terminal. I can now see the Django project is working. Django admin gives site administrators an easy way to manage the project's data. To get to Django admin, just add slash admin to the end of the URL. Then type in your super user username and password. I'll come back to this later. Go back into terminal. To quit the local server and go back to the regular terminal command screen, press Control c Django is now all set up. We'll continue working on this project in the next tutorial.